combinations with identical items. I am Anil Kumar and in this video I have combined most of the examples which fall under the category of finding number of divisors. The question here is determine the total number of divisors for the following. Four questions are there. 2 to the power of 10, 5 over 4, odd divisors of 5 over 4, a number with prime divisors as 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 7. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now the principle which we are using here is that if there are n elements of one type, m for another type, in that case the total number of combinations will be n plus 1 times m plus 1 minus 1 right so that is the concept of identical items which we are going to use when we talk about divisors divisors means the numbers which can divide the given number without any remainder right so those are the divisors now always there will be one as we say one is always a divisor is it okay so we add that one and that makes the formula uh, simpler in a way that minus one one cancels so it is the product of uh, one more than repeated items or these are actually the factors correct so this is the concept which we will use and I'll elaborate as we continue. Let's take the first number 2 to the power of 10. 2 to the power of 10 means what? It means 2 times there are 10 2's like this right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now the number of devices could be you could take only 1, 2, Right, so 2 is a divisor of 2 to the power of 10. 2 times 2, that is taking 2 twos. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 is a divisor, 8 is a divisor, 16 is a divisor. So you can take combinations of these 2's. How many combinations can you take? Well, you can take 1, 2, combine, so 2nd, 3rd, 4th. So 10 of these. Now the question is, can you take a combination where no 2 is included? Well, the number 1 comes to us, 1 is also a divisor and that fills in the gap and that is why this formula, we have that minus 1 plus 1, you get an idea. <clears throat> so, our solution for 2 to the power of 10 number of devices is what? Clearly, since there are 2, 2's, there are 10 2's, we have the answer as 11, so the answer here is is let me write here 11 10 plus 1 is the answer right so since there are 10 twos the combinations will be 10 plus 1 11 as you can see right now let's get back to the second number which is 504 now 504 we have just written as such let me do prime factorization of 504 to elaborate on the method so 5 over 4 we could divide by 2 for example so it gives me 2 times 2 is 4 10 5 2 we can again divide by 2 so we are doing prime factorization 2 times 1 2 times 2 is 4 and 6 again we can divide by 2 and we can get 63 6 and 3 and then 63 is 7 times 9 is 63 so for 5 over 4 the numbers prime factorization numbers are what let's look into this so for 5 or 4 the numbers are 1 2 3 2 so we can write this as 2 times 2 times 2 1 7 and 1 9 1 7 and 1 9 since there are 3 2's that will result into 4 1 7 with 1 plus 1 gives me two combinations and nine will give me two combinations only one nine so we just count how many of these are there how many factors the prime factors are there and then we multiply them four times two eight eight times two sixteen is the answer 
you get an idea right so 16 is an answer we need not even figure it out right other way so this formula really comes handy the next question here is odd divisors of 5 or 4 odd divisors now if we are considering odd divisors that means we are only considering the numbers 7 and 9 since if I multiply by 2 I get an even number so we need odd divisors 7 and 9 are the odd divisors 7 will result into 2 because n plus 1 is the formula 9 will also result into 2 2 is you may take 7 you may not take 7 that is why we get two options 9 you may take 9 you may not take 9 two options not taking them means take 1 right so that gives you that filler okay so not taking both of them is 1 you can take 1 right so 1 is an odd number, right? So we get 4 combinations. So odd divisors of 504 are only 4. Next part is a number with prime divisors as. So this time you don't have to do prime factorization. In many questions, uh, you will be given something like this. Now it is simpler since we know what are the prime factors. We can straight away count. So how many 2's do we have? 3 2's. So we will get 3 plus 1 options from here. How many 5's we have? 2 5's. So 2 plus 1 option. Number of 7's is 1. So 1 plus 1 option. Correct? So the answer will be equal to 4. That is 3 plus 1. So we have to multiply these. So what we get here is 4 times 2 plus 1 is 3 times 1 plus 1 is 2. That is your answer, right? 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24. So a number with prime divisors as 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 7 is 24. And I hope with this you clearly understand how to find number of divisors for any number. I hope that helps. Thanks and all the best.